Hey guys, we'll be back into this new tutorial or with OSP Pro. Now, in this short uh, tutorial, simply I'm going to show you guys how to how to come up with a simple actually how to connect Python with MySQL. Now, with this video, simply we are going to um, we are going to uh, learn how to uh, bring up MySQL connected to Python. Last video, it was just how to get started getting started with python now let's do this very fast i'm not going to take a lot of time i'm just going to create a file where i'm going to pick my program in now this file of yours can put anywhere mine is just going to be a kit inside my folders i have some place where i always put my uh, for uh, simple python stuffs here uh, my python script uh, just try to uh, if possible just going to save it somewhere uh, let's try to make it here mysql uh, python so that's what i'm going to be doing just going to put my stuff if possible inside here so just double click there and i say uh, mysql underscore python underscore connect okay connect now this is going to be just the module where you're going to have all those stuff so for us connected in. Now let's just try to, 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 to put all the things together by just importing the, my, the Python module which is import uh, equals to my SQLDB. Now you can import it as any other thing or you can just say you know, import my SQLDB if that's what you want. Then uh, from there we need to now to bring the connection. Now to bring the connection you can simply say con. Or give any other very variable name or how you want to do it so i always like this con even my php php uh, stuff i think in my php stuff uh, php connection i always used to use one known as db connection so we can also use a db connection if you want uh, is equal to uh, having one known as uh, that mysql db mysql db dot uh, one known as the connection name so dot con Think you can just see connect con there so i just going to give that now you use the same variable with uh, what you have the other side of your uh, php whereby you can have your first variable uh, sorry where you can have host localhost just like you see in php or you can ignore that and define a variable but for simplicity to make us understand just type local localhost like that you put your comma the next variable is parameter is one less to root which is username and then the last one is password since i'm using mysql with xamp and i don't need actually password by default then the next one is the database connection now simply here we will create a query that creates for us a database but that will be in the next video we shall show you how to do that now today i want to first show you summarized one i give assumption we don't have database connection like now i have a database called python this is the database name our database called python so to connect python into our into our python stuff i'll just come back here and then i show you like that so i'll just paste that there so i just need to not give any space there of our python program but I just try to ignore it and then i just click there now that's how we can simply add python into my sphere uh, now the next thing is to bring that cursor so that the cursor can sense what the user happened to you know concerning the database connection so i'll simply say cursor can be fine anyway uh how you want it to to, to be like you know so i will say the cancer to extend from the connection so i will say uh, one known as cursor dot uh connect or you can say either cursor dot connect or I, 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 it will depend on how you want it to be so i will just say cursor dot, uh, dot, uh, dot one known as cursor something like that now uh, that was going to be the pointer into our stuff uh, so this is what i've extended i've picked this to be equal to this uh, variable this side again okay? and then this is the, the connection so if i try to run this if there's no error to produce for us no error good now that implies the connection is okay i give us something just change here put something else definitely to take gate for us that error in the program because it doesn't know where it comes from and that's it i know database connection that now to really show that the database connection is successful 
just come underneath that for end of those actually you can do it underneath if possible with you whereby because this alone brings connection so to test whether the connection is really successful just do this the following is simply tell us that you know if if it be con I'm connected just come back here and play us print down from my channel and maybe connection uh, connection uh, success fully if that's if they told the connection is successful to print for us that now we also need to print maybe else statement here whereby with else I'll simply say else print for us uh, maybe uh, uh, connection and we fail if that's the case of our problem now since at the moment the connection is successful we shall get these parameters printed down for us in our program so that's it my friends that's good to go so that implies at the moment we really connect ourselves to mysql database so guys if you find this video much interesting for you or you find it interesting make sure you tend to do that a little bit for the guys for the last time whereby i tend to define my my SQL bit which I like to show you, uh, show you how to install it in the previous video. Then here I extended that kind of connection by defining a variable. Any variable you have your choice. As long as you're not going to use something called define, because define is a Python stuff. So make sure you use something which is kind of uh, not a Python uh, statement. Like libcon is equal to mysql db.connect. Now whereby libconnect is going to be picking up the parameters of the Python connection. We have the local host which is going to be the server and then the root which is the username then the password which i've left empty and then the python which is the database name then i can test whether the database is really am, am i connected or not if i'm connected fine print me print for me successfully otherwise if i'm not connected print for me fail so that's it that's why you see at the moment if i happen to click on here i can find myself that i ah, for sure i'm connected now that's it my friend so if you guys are from uganda and maybe you're within and you can come in for real practicals uh, with OSP, please come to OSP and the solution. We just located in one again, Diamond Trust Bank building in Kampala. So make sure you come in if at all you're interested in Python programming. And for you guys who might be interested, interested in machine learning, you can also watch my video for machine learning. Or if not, so you can come into OSP and then you meet us and you attend the program. Then on the other way around, also you guys who might be interested in your internship program, please come in and do internship with us. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to just show you in the next video how I happen to come up with my simple uh, Python application which is mainly made for you guys for this uh, video. Uh, so I'm going to take you slowly, but then I happen to be explain them to you so that you guys get to know how to do it. Thank you for watching. Love you all. Thank you.